Hey everybody, welcome to the Make Code Arcade Advanced Stream. I'm Shannon. I'm at Chacao on the Make Code Forums. I'm Richard. At Richard on the Make Code Forums. <laughs> I'm Vivian. I love people on the Make Code Forums. Come on, I lobbed that one over the plate, Vivian. <laughs> yeah, but I was expecting something else. <laughs> <laughs> um Cool. So um, today is Friday, so we're going to be doing something um, a little bit unplanned and a little bit different. Um, I think a thing that I like to do a lot um, in blocks is draw pictures using just these like image blocks. So obviously, if you have um, you know a sprite, you can go in here and you can draw like a picture of the sprite with you know our amazing sprite editor, or you can pick something from the gallery. Um, but another thing you can do is you can go into these um, this image category under advance, and you can do um, I think mostly lines and rectangles right now. Um, and so this is sort of like drawing a picture using math. Um, so if I'm going to very quickly um, let's see, grab the image. So right now I have a sprite that is a teal squiggle. <laughs> It's and a ghost avocado, thank you. Exactly, a ghost avocado. Um, and I can use this draw rectangle block to draw a rectangle at, um, you know, somewhere. And choose the color of it. Um, and that will add an orange rectangle to this sprite. Um, so you might be thinking, well, I can only do lines and rectangles, you know, what? what's so cool about that? Um, but there's a lot of things you can build by stacking together lines and rectangles. Um, so I think I'm going to start with um, a potion because I think that's straightforward. Um, and we'll see, uh, we might need to, I don't know, add custom blocks or something as we go. Um, so I'm it's actually going to... I was just going to say, I'm surprised we don't even put the circle APIs in there. We should we should make an extension that adds circles and um, drawing images. Yeah, I think it would be good to have um, an extension with just bonus image blocks. Um, definitely circle. <laughs> um, cool. So I'm going to start with uh, just set picture, and I'm going to create an image, and I'm going to start. Actually, I'm going to make some variables also. And this is going to be going to be, you know, how how wide our potion is across the bottom. I don't know, 15. Um, so, and then I think the height will be twice that. Cool. So now I have an image that is twice as tall as it is wide. And to visualize that on the screen, I will assign it to a sprite. Um, you, you did times one. Oops. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be able to do this. Mm. <laughs> cool. So now you can see, well, you won't be able to see it because right now the image is empty. But if I do this fill picture with um, white, we've made a white rectangle. <laughs> Yay. Um, cool. So traditionally, um, let's let's do the outline of the potion first, maybe. Um, so I have this image, and instead of filling it, I'm going to draw a rectangle at the bottom. That's going to be a square. Actually, I'm going to fill a rectangle. So draw a rectangle draws the outline of a rectangle, like you saw. Fill rectangle um, fills in the square. And um, so I'm going to start with uh, so x is zero. And then Y is going to be halfway down this image, which is um, 15 base width. And then the width is going to be um, all the way across. So I'm just going to fill in the bottom. And I'm going to make this white. And I'm going to remove this block. Cool. Smaller square. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to add like a, uh, like a neck to the bottle. Um, so to do it's that, a neck or a spout? Mm, I don't know. I feel like a spout is a thing that you. Yeah, you're right. It's got to have the little pouring thing. Right. Spout. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if it was like a, a vase, a vase. Um, 
and then fancy people for I'm gonna make 18. And uh, so to draw the neck, I want to start. Um, how wide do I want the neck to be? I'm gonna make another variable. Um, and for now, that's going to be one third of the base. Oh, I renamed. New variable. All right. So a thing I'm doing is I'm calculating all of these new variables off of this like starter one. Um, and what that means is if I decide to change the base width, everything else will like scale up proportionally. Um, so now I need to start from, I want it to be centered, right? Well, actually, let me just draw this rectangle first. Um, so I want it to be neck width wide, and I'm just going to also make it that tall. And so now if you look, whoops, dividing by zero. Cool, so now we have like a little neck. Um, and we want to put it, you know, sort of in the middle there. Um, so the X position is going to be half of the image minus half of the neck width. Um, so I should be able to do uh, base width minus neck width divided by two. Cool. Sweet, so now that's centered um, and we want it down. Um, so I'm going to do, um, and we know this is halfway um, down the image, which is base width. So we are again going to do, is... sorry? Go ahead. I was going to say, I don't know if this is an optical illusion technically, but my brain is like putting lines between the small square to the bigger one, and it looks like an empty two liter soda bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. The like diagonal? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, cool. So now we've made um, kind of a, a, a vial or something. Um, and I'm going to draw a smaller rectangle in here to fill it with uh, some kind of, you know, potion liquid. Um, so I think I'm going to make, um, let's see. New variable, glass thickness, um, and that is going to be base width divided by six. So I'm going to leave like a little white border around all of this. So uh, if we start at x equals this, and the width is going to be, um, so basically we want to start a little bit in, and we want to end a little bit early. Um, so the width is going to be base width minus um, this glass thickness. Times two? Not times two. Um, yes, times two. Mm. Wait, what did I do? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So this is the glass one. Um, so we want base width minus glass thickness. Okay, glass thickness times two. And I'm gonna change this color to orange for now. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So um, it's a little bit narrower and now we also need the height to match. So um, we're gonna do Y plus the glass thickness. Um, plus glass thickness. And the height is going to be base width, also minus glass thickness times two. Oh, yeah, same as this. Um, so it's still square on the inside. Cool. Um, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> what does an orange potion do? Isn't, isn't that standard? But I don't know what it stands for. It's either like magic? I feel like magic is green mm. and red is health. Like those are just Zelda colors. 
And then blue is both. It would be poison. No? <laughs> I think red is HP. I think I'm using Maple Story thoughts, though. <laughs> that is not a game I've thought about in a long time. <laughs> okay, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little lid. Um, I don't know. Could it be a lid or a cork? Uh, Ooh, a cork. A cork? Okay. <laughs> I, I think we should have enough space for a cork. Um, we'll see. So I duplicated this um, this neck block. Um, and I'm just gonna change it to brown for cork colored. And I'm going to move it up. So right now we're starting at base width minus neck width. I'm gonna start at base width minus neck width times two. So I'm just gonna move it up one neck width unit. Um, oh, that, that's minus nope. two. <laughs> Wait, yeah, uh, yeah. Times. Hmm. That's all right. Um, you could. What if you made it one pixel less like, thick on each side, and then put it down a little bit? Yeah. All right. Let's try that. Um, so what Richard is suggesting is like we're just going to shrink the cork a bit, and then it'll look like it's like stuck inside the bottle. Um, so I'm going to do. Face width minus neck width. Um, I just want to scooch it over a tiny bit. I think our glass thickness will be too much. So I'm just gonna, maybe this I will actually just add, um, just add a number to. So um, this whole thing, face width minus neck width divided by two uh, plus, And then this width is going to be neck width minus two. So I'm just adding one pixel on either side. Hmm? Yeah, cool. that's awesome. <laughs> I think it should be a little bit shorter. Um, so. Neck width. Oh, feel about this. Cute. It's cute. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, great. So I'm going to move all of this now into a function that is um, draw a potion. So I'm going to keep these variables out here. And whoops. Um, at the end of this function, I'm just going to return the picture. And then I'm going to call draw potion. Um, so now we can call it, you know, theoretically a bunch of times. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to do is right now it's always orange. So um, the fun part about doing this with math is now you can add this pick random block, right? Um, so every color in Arcade is also a number. Um, transparent is zero, and then, you know, it goes across. So if I do um, from two. two to, what is this, like nine? Yeah, I think so. Because it's such fast counters. <laughs> cool, so now each time you refresh, you get, you know, a random number. Um, and, the other thing that would be cool is what if it wasn't like all the way full all the time, right? Um, so we have this same block is filling in the inside of the potion. Um, so right now we're just using the base width minus like this glass thickness. So instead of doing that, I'm going to create like a potion fill variable um, new variable, fill, or let's try, fill. Um, and it's going to be, it's going to start out with the base width, and we're going to subtract some random amount from it, right? So start out base width like we have now, 
and I'm going to subtract um, anywhere between zero and um, yeah, 10 is good, I think, actually. So then everywhere we're using base width, um, base width plus glass thickness, I think, whoops. So we want the height to be this new fill height. And we want the Y to start. Um, so right now, you see it's changing the fill height, but it's changing from <laughs> the top. Um, so instead of starting at just base width, we need to start at base width plus this um, fill height. Plus fill height. All right, let's see. Oops. Um, I think it would actually be, let's see, base width plus glass thickness, and then it would be plus base width minus fill height. So it would be two times base width minus fill height. Two times, right, so two times base width is the whole height. Yeah, yeah, um, minus the fill height minus the glass thickness, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so we're starting from the bottom, and we basically just want to subtract uh, the, the amount. All right. Um, so let me just kind of go over that again. Two times base width, which is the full height of this image. Um, and then we're going to subtract the fill height. And then we're also going to subtract the glass thickness again. Um, so basically we started down here and then we moved up by fill height amount and then we moved up again by glass thickness and that's the glass on the bottom of the potion. All right, so let's see how this looks. Ah, I have one extra glass thickness in there and it's because I'm accounting for glass thickness in the height of the... Um, oh, right, right, right. So it needs to be glass thickness times so. two. Uh, no, I think we just don't need to subtract it, right? This is still incorrect. Oh. Wait, so it should be base width times two minus the fill height minus glass thickness times one. Wait, I'm confused. Why isn't this working? <laughs> I think the, okay. Base width times two minus fill height minus glass thickness is here. And then I should just be drawing glass fill height. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yep, yeah, that's it. Um, cool, that's great. And then um, I want my max fill height to not be base width. I want my max fill height to be base width minus um, glass thickness times two. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, awesome. OK. So now we're getting these potions that are different colors and like partially filled sometimes. Um, and a thing that can be nice is like right now. So actually, let me make a bunch of potions. Um, so I'm going to do um, nested for loops. And I'm doing this uh, loop with the index. So I'm going to need to rename this. Um, so that I can use this index number, right? So, and I'm gonna rename this one. So row, column. So we're just gonna do four by, I don't know, we'll change those numbers later. Um, so right now we're making 16 potions and they are all overlapping each other. Um, so then I'm gonna set the potion. Um, so it should just be, I think, base width plus row times base width for both of them. And then base yeah. width plus all times base That's width. like a margin maybe, right? Um, new variable, spacer. All right. So, um, so I'm trying to figure out, maybe I just want to do left and top. reason about. So if I want to set the left 
to the um, let's do uh, base width times column. Times column plus um, a spacer. No, it should be a column plus spacer, right? Base width yes. times column plus spacer. Correct. Um, so we need to add, yeah, an extra spacer for each uh, each column that we are in. All right, let's look at this. What did I do? Base width times column plus spacer. Is it because X is setting to zero oh, after? Oh, she's setting, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good call, Vivian. Yay. Sweet. Ooh, oh, I love it. Row of potions. Um, oh it is not spaced out. Yeah, what's going on there? Oh, it should be base width plus spacer times call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Correct. Um, OK, so basically, uh, let me try and sort of break down what this is doing. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, and maybe a little bit more spacer. So essentially, we're setting the left, right? Um, we want each potion to be a little further to the right. Um, so uh, if we did this, um, we would be saying, OK, move over by one potion. So the first potion is at zero. The second potion is one potion width more. Um, so it's one, one times potion width. Um, and then the third one is two times potion width, et cetera. Um, but now we're actually adding this spacer to the width of the potion. So we're moving over potion width plus a little bit more with each one. And that adds just like a nice space in between. Um, cool. So that's the left. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing for top which is going to be, it's going to be the height of the potion. Um, so that's, we decided here, two times base width. Um, <laughs> and we want to use the row instead of the column. Um, math times two. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Um, so we actually only need uh, zero to fours five which is many and then i think we could fit like two more there what did i do six cool nice. bunch of potions <laughs> um so the cool thing about doing this with math right is that um we coded one potion but now we can generate like you know, a row of different potions that looks slightly different each time. Um, cool. So that's potions, I guess. I don't know. We could do some other stuff. We could make them, I guess, here. Let me add some more randomness to make these guys a little bit more interesting. Um, so, uh, so this inside part, right, we basically change the height of it. But each of these components, so the height of the body, the height of the neck, the width, all of that can be, you know, slightly randomized. And that will give you, like, slightly different effects um, for the potion. So let's see. I think, hmm, I'm going to change the height of the body, um, but the fill height is also going to depend on that. So let's give this a shot body height um so right now the height is just um where do we set the body up base. here base yeah. width um so i'm gonna move base width here and then i'm gonna use this body height thing right um and i think i don't really want too much variation in the height. I want maybe like three different heights. Um, so I'm going to do um, hmm, base width 
minus math. Pick random. <laughs> negative 1 to 1. So that is negative 1, 0, and 1. So we're going to subtract. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm going to multiply this by 3. So, so the possible values of this pick random times 3 is negative 3, 0, or 3. Um, so let's see now. Cool, yeah. These potions are all different heights, um, but they all, they're all aligned by uh, this top thing because that's how the math we did works out. Um, right, and then, yeah, because they're aligned that way, you can't see the bottom. Um, all right, so then I'm going to need to use this body height. Um, oops. Okay, get body height. Um, also, so we're starting, yeah, the Y is the base width, and we actually need the Y to be the height of the image minus the body height. Um, so I might, I should probably just might put be this into, yeah, yeah, yeah that, right, that variable, I think. potion height. Cool. And then, uh, I'm also gonna, I think we're using it here. Cool. Okay. Um, yep, that's where we were before. And then I'm going to start, uh, the Y is going to be potion height minus body height. Um, so another math block. And this is potion height, body height. All right. So cool. So now you can see we're getting, you know, a pleasing up and down array. Uh, potions, um, but the necks are not aligned because we did not do that math. Um, so some of these look all right, though. Like, yeah, that short I like, neck. I like the, the, the shorter neck's good. Oh, we're getting echo now. Oh, from what have I talked? I get echo too. Oh, so it's from me. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. Do you have any headphones I... nearby? Sorry. Wait, I think it stopped. Okay, I think it might just be um, the, the broadcast system adjusting. Mm. But. I think we just need to talk more frequently, Vivian. <laughs> okay. I like drinking water. That would have my potion. What? Of all the liquids you could drink? Of potion all the beverages? hydration. I like orange juice, too. Orange juice and I recently like... learned how to make a matcha latte. That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't like orange juice. I do like carbonated, lightly flavored water, no sweetener, and also black cherry papel. <laughs> I couldn't finish mine. Wait, it's in the fridge. Don't do that to me, Vivian. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool, okay, so I'm just adjusting everything, uh, all of these like neck components. Um, so we start them at base width, but now instead of using this base width, we're just going to use the um, calculated height, which is potion height minus body height. Cool. All right, and the last thing we need to do is this fill height right now is um, based off of this base width, and we also need to uh, base it off of the body height. Um, and I think... So right now we're subtracting 10. Um, and the smallest that body height can be is 11. So I'm going to actually just reduce this by a bit. All right, cool. So a whole bunch of potions, mm -hmm. different heights. What would pink be? Pink lemonade? Makes you sour and sweet. <laughs> is lemonade really sour? I guess it is a little bit. Tart. 
feel like it should be if it has real lemons in it. <laughs> my, my beef with lemonade started when I was a kid, and I was like, this is a drink that makes you thirstier. What? <laughs> Not always. It does. Lemonade is refreshing. <laughs> Good business opportunity. <laughs> I had lemonade stands well into my early teens. <laughs> Did they work? Yeah, people would come by and some people would give me more, like, more than what the lemonade cost. And be like, oh, no, I must give you my change. And they're like, kid, let me tell you how to do business. <laughs> All right. So I think I did yeah. a lemonade stand once. And the, the only money we got was out of pity. <laughs> All right, so we've done these potions. I think maybe the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add like a little cursor and then we'll like do some stuff when you click Ooh. on a potion maybe so that this feels a little bit more like a game. <laughs> um, I feel like games are just things that bring you joy. <laughs> and this brings me so much joy. <laughs> All right, so the cursor is of kind player. Um, I guess we'll just do a hand. Right. I do like it when you draw hands. <laughs> you always look very good with the pointer. Oh, are the hands usually left or right? I love that yours is left-handed. Please don't change it. <laughs> this is great. Okay. Are you left-handed, Vivian? I'm right-handed. I wish I were left-handed. That'd be cool. <laughs> My mom's left-handed, left but everyone else in my family is right-handed. My dad was forced to become right-handed. Oh, man. <laughs> all right. Um, so we're making this cursor. Ooh. That's all right. Um, and we're going to move it with buttons. New cursor with buttons. And then I'm going to also force the cursor to stay in screen. Stay Maybe in screen. there's a face in one of the potions and you got to click it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Don't drink my potion, you mouse. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let me do the thing Vivian said um, very quickly. I'm going to add this animation um package and after you make a potion we're gonna we've placed it here right oh, i'm actually gonna need to save these as variables but let me first do this so we're gonna have a small percent chance um richard's favorite block <laughs> uh we're gonna start with actually 50 just so we can see this happen and i'm gonna make a sprite and mm -hmm. <laughs> right is going to be small. Um, so our potions are. Wait, it should be big though, because they're looking through the glass, and you know it gets all wobbly. Oh, that's true. Um, okay, wait. So our potions are eighteen wide, and uh, subtract three, so they're twelve. So I'm going to do ten by ten, and then I'm just going to, for now, briefly, I'm going to put a face in it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my. What a um, let's see. Oh. There's one face. Um, and Maybe there's lots of faces. <laughs> and then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the face to be um, over the potion. So set face. position to, uh, I want it to be exactly on the potion X. And potion one. Y plus face width. I could do, I could align bottom. those bottoms and then just move it up a little bit. Um, mm. Oh yeah, you could do, do potion, that. you could do potion bottom minus 10. Set face X to potion X. Cool. So we exactly align the X's. And then I'm going to set the face um, 
bottom to the potion bottom with some more math. Um, Shannon, what's your favorite block? Um, I don't know. I feel like at one point I answered this, but I no longer remember my I answer. I can't remember either, and I'm very upset. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, 10 is a little too much. Four is probably too little. I think you just want a little bit more glass thickness. Yeah, so four should be fine. Cool. Perfect. Um, so then the other thing I'm going to do is instead of just drawing a face, I'm actually going to animate a face. Um, oh my goodness. So animate face. Um, By the way, you're not getting out of here, Shannon, without naming what your favorite block is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, like this, putting down. The oh, wait, yeah. Sorry. Let me also. Um, we sort of skimmed over this, but um, to get these animation blocks, you go into extensions. There will be an animation card here. You click on it, and it adds this new animation drawer with all these blocks that allow you to animate. Um, this is Shannon's so, favorite extension? This is my favorite extension, yes. <laughs> remember this one. Um, so I'm going to start with nothing, and then get you know, some eyes. And I can actually duplicate this to make the eyes bigger. Would you say this is a you should get. You should get, those should be eyebrows and you should get like a little yellow swoop under them. Oh. Yeah, a little, you say yellow swoop? Yeah, well, I mean, just like the eye, you know. Oh. Yeah, so okay, yeah. I can preview it up here also. So I'm going to change, I'm going to need Number is how much time, how many milliseconds between. That is too fast. <laughs> I think I want a little bit more time. So I'm actually gonna, yeah. Fill in the eyebrows and then we'll get this. I got it, okay. And then you do one frame where it's just the yellow, but um, instead of the yellow is replaced with uh, the, the like light purple. So it looks like the eyelids are blinking. Oh. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So okay. So you're doing this, and then light purple, and then back to yellow. And back to yellow. So I can duplicate this yellow one and then drag it. Um, our animation editor is very good. Thank you, Richard. Um, Dude, this should be my favorite extension with the amount of time I spent on that little <laughs> sidebar there. <laughs> How much time um, did you spend? A lot. Okay. And then I'm just going to duplicate all of these top ones. So we're going to uh, we're going to blink once, and then the eyes will go away. Drag this guy down. Cool. And one more empty. Uh -huh. Great. So I think these are backwards. they should start further out mm. and then go towards the center. Hmm. Yeah, I think that looks good. You, if you speed it up a bit, I think it'll look. Okay, let me also do that here. And then, um, and then I'm just gonna zoom out and hope for this. <laughs> So great. Oh, and then if you hover, there we go. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, and I put loop on. So cool. So yeah, so now you can see some of these um, potions have little faces in them. Doesn't work as well on the yellow potions, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Bit of a um, challenge there, but that's OK. And then, hmm. Let me give it a little mouth. <laughs> mm. Oh, that is. <laughs> I'm not afraid of this anymore. It is just cute, but this was <laughs> alarming again. 
okay. Um, I, I don't really know what I'm doing, but you know. <laughs> yes, it, I do know. It's very spooky. Oh, oh. oh. And I'm going to reduce this yes. chance. So it's going to be a couple here. Oh, uh, I wish there was a way to make them not blink in unison. <laughs> um, let me think about that. Is there a way to add frames to animations or no? Yeah, so what I would do is you want to, if you take out the, the core bit of the animation block, which returns an array, mm -hmm. then you can um, shift and unshift randomly. Oh, that yeah. will put them on different cycles. Yeah. <laughs> you can also right. give them random amounts of like blank time. Some of them will happen more often. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to wait on that um, and very quickly try and do some sort of interaction with the um, thing, the potions. And then, cool. And then, um, I guess I'll just do an overlaps check with an A button check inside of it. Um, yeah, well, that gives you the chance of overlapping with two of them at once because they're so closely packed. Ooh, that's true. Um, that is a good point. And I actually. What you could do, though, is you could make um, the cursor have a one pixel sprite at the fingertip. Ooh. That is the overlap tester. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, that's how real cursors, I mean, that's not how real cursors work, but real cursors click on the thing <laughs> they're pointing at. So, um, cool. So I'm going to have a cursor and then I'm gonna have another sprite, um, which will be confusingly. <laughs> um, Actually, cool. <laughs> and um, this is going to be one pixel by one pixel. And I'll just make it red for now. Um, and then I'm going to grab out this on game update and just every frame we're going to position the clicker based on the cursor position. So um, I'm going to set, I think I want to do left and uh, or right and top. So I'm going to set the clicker. Oh, the clicker. Use the, yes. <laughs> top to the cursor top. Vivian's favorite block. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see an appearance. <laughs> and then the right to the cursor. Right. All right. Let's take a minus. quick look. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Let's take a quick look. I think you want to do like minus four for the right. Yes. Um, and I think I want a cup minus a bit for the top too, right? Uh, plus for the top. Plus, yes. So I'm going to do plus two for the top and minus four for the right. Um, and that just moves this dot down and in a little bit to try and align it with the pointer. Uh, one more time. Almost. One more. Perfect. It looks like it has no polish. <laughs> and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set that to be invisible. Or I don't need to do that there. I can do it here. Set the so invisible is a lot like ghost in that it has a similar name, but it has <laughs> completely different functionality. Um, it does everything. Um, all collisions and things happen normally, but um, it, you just can't see it. Mm -hmm. It's really useful for doing these types of like hitbox detection sprites. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, all right, so I think we should have an effect. I think it should say something, and then the potion should disappear, probably. Um, so I'm going to have um, if a button pressed, the potion. Um, how much time do we have left? It could disappear or it could turn have, into something. We Sorry? 15 minutes. We have 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, and then there's no good way to do like a randomized effect, right? I'm just gonna do. No, it. I don't think so. I was thinking. Yeah. So for the thing it says, I think it should be a blink of blink, like essence of time, Ooh. or yeah, yeah. Out of punctuality. I don't know why I did both. <laughs> things, but, yeah. Cool. Um, definitely that. Uh, so right now I'm just going to very quickly um, bash together some sort of um, randomized effects. I'm just going to pick like four of them. Um, so I'm picking a number between zero and three, which is four numbers because it includes zero and three. And then if um, this effect number equals zero, we're going to do spray. Um, if it equals one, we'll do something else, two and three. So, I guess, I don't know, hearts? Mm. Anything else? Do you guys have favorite effects? My favorite That's effect starfield. is confetti, but it doesn't work super well on a sprite level. That's true. Ashes. Ooh. Ashes. Good one. And... Fire? Ooh, yes, obviously. Good <laughs> call, <again. laughs> Um... Cool. So let's very quickly uh, see this now. If I press A, yeah, look at those guys go. <laughs> Should it be stopping? No, it's start effect. You need to you need to put in a time for it to stop. Yeah, but it, press um, plus. or I, I don't really want it to stop because I'm getting rid of the potion. But I thought it looked like it did stop. Yeah, it looks like one of them stopped, but... Oh, we are definitely starting a bunch of effects. Um, I don't know if that... Oh, that could be it. <laughs> there is a cap on the number of effects I think you can have going at once. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, cool. So then the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the kind of the potion so you can only start an effect once. Um... And do you want to set the lifespan, I guess? Um, I think I haven't quite decided what we're going to do with it yet. Um, so I'm going to do your text thing first. Um, kind to. Surprise goes to revelation. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this is code, but it's also a life philosophy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, one effect per um, potion. Cool. And then I'm going to have the potion say something. So um, my sprite dot say. And it's going to be a join, which is how you combine different kinds of text. Um, and it's going to be a blank of blank. And these blanks are going to be random elements from arrays. So we are going to set, um, let's see. The first one is going to be a synonym for potion. And the second <laughs> one is going to be a, a thing, an effect. An effect. Um, OK, so potion name and uh, Me. Right, I can do names. Let's do it. Drought, D R A U G H T. Is yep. it a draft? Really? No, I think so. It's just an old timey way of saying like a potion. Um, yeah, I think potion, <laughs> potion should be one of them. Um, distillation. Distillation. <laughs> That's so oh, long. You are you are correct. That that is pronounced draft. Yay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do some. Let's do some effects. Oh, essence. One more. Might replace distillation. It's so long. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. 
I'll put in at the end. <laughs> but it's okay because it's equal chance. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Vivian understands math. Um, <laughs> the thing I said was meaningless. <laughs> okay. Uh, sleep. What else have we got? Punctuality. <laughs> Why are your words all so long? What's the word? Art I just really like the idea of having a potion of punctuality. <laughs> Articulation. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Come with a short one, Shannon. What's worth doing if it's short? Um, yes. Blinking. <laughs> no. uh, flight. Oh, that's a good one. Um... Of, of power. All right. <laughs> a couple different things. Um, Wait, we need cool. one more. Let's go. We need one more. Summoning. Mm. I feel like the things of summoning that sounds dumb. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to do our usual getting a random element from an, an array. So this is going to be push and name, get value at um, a random number between zero and the length of the potion names array, and all of that minus one. Er, just the length. length? Yes. This would also be on the make code final. <laughs> we don't have right. finals. This is a happy- if we, if we did have finals, I'd love final exams. <laughs> It would be like the make code trivia um, mm. experience. Oh, oh, put put spaces around the of. Push in name. Oh yeah, good call. Push an effect. Push an effect. Okay. Um, so let's try this. Draft. Draft. Draft of punctuality. Distillation of summoning. Cool. Perfect. Okay. So this is exactly what I wanted to do. And the last thing I want is I'm going to disappear the uh, potion. So I'm going to, we changed the kind of it. Um, and I'm just going to set the lifespan. Yeah. It'll just auto uh, destroy itself conveniently. That's exactly what lifespan does. <laughs> Lifespan is measured in milliseconds, by the way. So 1,000 equals one second. Yeah. One second? And we'll see. I think Hopefully it might be a little bit longer for some of the, the longer names mm. that some of us came up Whose with. Whose fault is that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do two seconds. Sleep. Essence of power. I spelled elixir wrong. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Uh, very, very last thing I think we have time for. Spelling will not be on the make code final. <laughs> so we changed the potion to revelation and we set this lifespan. So on destroyed sprite of kind revelation, you're going to have a small chance of creating something. So we're going to do. Um, Start with a 50% chance just so we can see it happen. And I'm going to just create a sprite. Uh, what's the thing? I think it's just going to be one kind of thing. Um, I don't really have. Frogs are po potion y. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I still have in a frog cat. Wait, in real life? I was like going to tell you, my sister just moved to a place that's got tons of frogs. They're all oh. over. I'll get her to send you some pictures. <laughs> it's not the same. I've seen pictures of frogs. If she could sit and mail me one, and then I release it in my garden, and then I can happen upon it. Okay. Um, well, it's, it's something. Um, I think it's a frog. <laughs> oh, 
The green is a spelly, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> um, oh, it looks so good. New variable of kind creature. <laughs> um, and then I, I need to set the position a... of it. Yeah. So I'm going to set the frog X to be um, exactly the other sprite X, uh, or sorry, the, the potion X, so that it's centered. And then I'm just going to set the frog bottom to be the um, potion bottom. So bottom to potion bottom. All right, let's see. Let's see some frogs. <laughs> I'll pretend. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was so good. What a great rock. Cool. OK, perfect. Uh, and then I'm going to reduce this chance so that um, it's not a 50% chance. It'll just be, I don't know, 10, like our, like our faces. OK, I'm cool. thinking the name for this game should be Shannon's Potion Refinery. <laughs> I was going to also vote that we should have Shannon's name in it. <laughs> oh, what number stream is this? 98. Oh, wow. 98. Okay. Sure. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us um, and bearing with all of our math blocks. I'm Shannon. I'm at Shakao in the Make Code Forum. I'm Richard. At Richard on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Vivian. I love cheerful and make good for him. <laughs>